Chris Birdall, the teacher who faces more than 40 charges of making and possessing child porn, resigned from the Fine Arts Academy. KSBY News reporter Megan Healy joins us live in Atascadero with Birdall's teaching status. Megan. Well, Scott, after removing Birdall from paid leave, the Atascadero Unified School District sent a full report to the California Commission on Teaching Credentials. That commission has the power to issue, suspend, or revoke all teaching credentials. Basically, they're trying to determine if Birdall should be kept in the classroom. Once a report is made, a team of investigators will look at records and talk to witnesses. If the allegations can be proved, the Committee of Credentials takes over and gives the teacher an opportunity to respond. The committee can then take no action or come up with a punishment, ranging from a red flag on the teacher's record to a revocation of credentials. An educator that is disciplined can appeal. In a phone interview with the school district's Human Resources Assistant Superintendent, Kurt Eichberger says Birdall's resignation could be enough for other schools to question his teaching abilities. If someone has left a contract uh, while it was uh, still active, uh, another is, um, you know, not finishing a teaching assignment. Ultimately, those things would have to be disclosed uh, if an individual was to look for work in the state. Convicted or not, if Birdall is punished by the CTC, it will go on his teaching record, alerting any future educational employers. According to the CTC's website today, the status on Bertel's teaching credentials are listed as valid. After I pointed this out to the commission, they, a spokesperson tells me they're unable to comment on the status of Bertel's teaching credentials, but says they are looking into it. Normally, in a similar case like this, credentials would be automatically suspended. Live in Atascadero, Megan Healy, KSBY News. Thanks, Megan. If convicted, Bertel would have to register as a sex offender, which would affect his ability to get future teaching credentials. Birdall is set to appear in court again October 18th.